what's up youtube so um i'm making this video right i'm in bed i literally just woke up but i watched the super bowl last night and i must say i am so upset um let me get this out of the way first i'm not a carolina panthers fan i'm not a football fan at all i don't watch football anymore so let me just get it out of the way but last night was the worst offensive showing i have ever seen my ever saw my entire life the offense for carolina panthers did not show up the receivers didn't show up the running backs didn't show up the offensive line didn't show up um cam newton showed up cam newton did his thing i mean as far as one person can do for a team cam newton did everything in his power for this team and people are still blaming him for their loss oh he wasn't dabbing this and that that wasn't his fault you can only do so much as one player and i swear to god man i was so upset last night um these guys knew the blitz were coming, like the offensive line, running backs. They knew the blitz was coming, and they still didn't know who to pick up. Like, they weren't organized. They were letting people through the line, and at the end of the play after Cam Newton got hit was when they were trying to figure out who was supposed to block this guy and this guy. It's like they, they didn't prepare for the Super Bowl. Like, I don't know if they didn't get the memo, but this was the biggest game of your careers. The biggest fucking game of your careers. And y'all went and played like high school players. And I haven't seen high school players play play better than the way the Carolina Panthers played yesterday. It was just bad. Like, I was looking at the TV the whole time, like, what in the fuck is going on? I heard Stephen A. Smith, uh, like, a few weeks ago say that that, that that kid, Ted Ginn Jr., I think his name is, the receiver for the Carolina Panthers, the, the head receiver right now, um, Stephen A. Smith said he couldn't catch a cold butt naked in the winter or something like that. And that was true. They were dropping passes. Like, even the running back dropped a wide open pass like two or three times. The receivers dropped like five wide open passes. So, as far as that, I just felt like they everybody turned against Cam Newton for some reason. I, I don't know. That's just how it seems to me. But it just feels like everybody just didn't want to do what they were supposed to do. They just played like shit. Their defense was awesome. Their defense was fucking awesome. And I don't know why... It, everybody's giving Peyton Manning credit. Peyton Manning did nothing last night. Just so y'all know, Peyton Manning did nothing. I don't know if y'all saw the game or y'all want to give Peyton Manning credit because he's going to retire or something, but Peyton Manning did nothing last night as far as where he should be like, oh, yeah, Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl. No, he didn't do anything. He didn't do shit. Their defense won the Super Bowl last night. Their defense won the Super Bowl. They played – the Broncos played awesome defense, and I, I can't even sit here and hate on them. They played – a1 defense like they play defense like how the ravens used to play defense back when ray lewis played for him back in the days so i mean i got to give them all their credit again i'm not a carolina panthers fan I'm, I'm not a fan of any team in the nfl but this game here was just bad they they were terrible um again cam newton got hit so much that he didn't even know what to do they blitzed him so much um whoever called the plays for the denver Broncos defense that guy needs a, he he should be the MVP he should get all the credit because he had Cam Newton so scared in the pocket that even when they weren't blitzing Cam Newton was running around in the pocket like there was somebody behind him that's how you're supposed to play defense you have to you have to put pressure in people's heads once you put pressure in a quarterback's head mentally like you won the game and Cam Newton was, like, literally so scared. Like, there was always somebody after him. And I blame the offensive line. There was enough people staying back on the offensive line, tight ends and everything else, that Cam was supposed to be secure. All you needed was three receivers. Cam was supposed to be secure, and nobody did their job. The center did his job. The center did his job. Um, the two guards did their job. But the running back and the outside guys, they just, they just didn't show up. Um, the receivers, they didn't show up, like I said earlier, but um, I just wanted to sh say that um, Cam Newton walking out of the interview, um, I would I would have walked out of the fucking interview, too, because they're questioning him like it was his fault that he lost the game. It wasn't his fault. It was his teammates fault. And you can tell like he was about one answer away from saying, why don't y'all go ask my fucking teammates? Because they're the one that's fucked this game up, which they really, really did. His teammates sucked last night. Cam got hit so much that that nigga didn't even know that he, he he didn't know what to do. Like he got hit so much, and you're not in never in a game you're supposed to let your quarterback get hit that much, especially your star quarterback that took your sorry asses to the Super Bowl when none of y'all played the whole fucking season. So I do blame Cam for walking out. Well, no, I don't blame Cam for walking out. If you want to walk out, fucking walk out. I mean, it's better than you saying, "Yo, my fucking teammates sucked," and this and that. So. 
I didn't. I don't blame him for walking out, but I do blame his teammates. They all fucking suck last night. Um, and that's just a little rant. I just wanted to say that, and I will tell y'all why I'm laying laying in bed doing this. I I didn't feel like fucking getting up because my back hurts, but I'll tell y'all about that another time.